Now, the last thing I would ask for you from this course is that you complete an evaluation of the course in two different ways. The university provides a formal evaluation process through the SET and SEC um, surveys. Uh, student evaluation of teaching, student evaluation of courses. And this provides a formal ranking and rating of academics. And I hope you can provide some positive feedback and a high rating through that mechanism. Now, I understand though that some students may find that they wish to provide other negative feedback. Feedback that can identify areas of improvement or areas of frustration that you may have had with various aspects of the course. And so that you don't have to provide that in the formal evaluation process, I provided you with an anonymous survey form that you can provide me with your advice on how I can improve my teaching and how I can address any other issues that you have had during the course that you would like to see addressed. Now, I understand that there is a power differential in any course between teachers and students. I have to make judgments on your assessment contrib contributions and make judgments on what you have submitted. And you may disagree with some of those judgments. You may feel that the marks or the overall grade doesn't fully reflect your true potential. And I have interpreted the work that you have submitted in a way differently to how you would interpret it. And I understand that that can happen. It's only a natural part of the process. But I do hope that you will provide feedback in light of that in a respectful way. It's not an opportunity for you to um, be cruel. I do welcome your feedback and I do take that on board and use it to improve my teaching and the way courses are conducted. So please provide that in the online form, but please reserve your um, comments, your negative comments um, to the online form and not to the set and sec. I will still take them on board, but regardless, don't make cruel comments. Um, any comments you make are taken to heart by any academic, any teacher. So do so in a way that is still respectful. So that brings us to a final, final close. And I leave you a little poem and video clip that I always use to remind myself of the, the importance of assessment and um, criteria and all of those things. In the overall scheme of things, it's much more important that you develop uh, curiosity and creativity and explore your own path to your own endeavours, regardless of what any other judgments others may make upon you. So I look forward to seeing some of you again in other courses that I teach. And if not, we may come across other, as, um, each other as I do research in the field of education, or we may meet at conferences or any other mechanisms. And I hope you do say hi, and I always love to receive feedback if you find what you've learned during this course particularly useful in changes of careers or ways you've implemented aspects of this course in your own professional uh, practice. It's always great to hear good stories of where this course has been useful for you. So that's it again. All the very, very best. And I hope you gain some benefit from your studies of creating educational technologies.